In celebrating the solemnity of St. Joseph, we are celebrating one of the great people in the church's history. But at the same time, we are celebrating a man who appears very little in the gospel and has even less to say. And very often the depictions of St. Joseph that we see focus on that silence or on his working or on his teaching the child Jesus and interacting with the family. And there is, of course, the art and statues of St. Joseph asleep, a reminder of, to us of today's gospel where an angel of the Lord appears to him telling him not to be afraid to take Mary as his wife and confirming her role, his role in the history of salvation and confirming her role in it too. We are struck also by his absence during our Lord's public ministry. Our Lady appears at key moments. She gets to see, she gets to rejoice, and she gets to suffer some of our Lord's key moments, his miracles, his passion, his death, and the beginnings of the mission of the church throughout the world. St. Joseph does not get to see all of these things, and yet his place in the church's history is assured. And the focus of our attention with St. Joseph is ultimately turned towards his obedience to his willingness to do what God asked him to do, his simple fidelity and trust in God was sufficient to allow for the unfolding of the mystery of the incarnation, an ability to do what God asked of him, keeping safe that holy family, family guarding and guiding the child Jesus, helped bring salvation to us even though the circumstances surrounding this particular family were beyond any normal expectation. His trust in God and his obedience are important for us as Christians as a model for what our own lives should be like. Very often we pull back from the idea of obedience, perhaps because in ways we are schooled by our surroundings to value self-reliance and autonomy as first principles in our lives. To hand over ourselves to any other person, never mind to hand ourselves over to God and to think about doing his will is seen as highly suspicious. But listening to God as St. Joseph did, understanding what he is calling us to do and obeying that call are vital for us in opening up our lives beyond the limitation we have set for ourselves and opening us up to what God wishes to accomplish in us. This has great significance for ourselves and for our full fulfillment as individuals, but is also significant in a bigger way. When we trust in God, and hand ourselves over to him in obedience, we become aware that our lives in him are part of much, something much greater than simply ourselves, part of the rich and beautiful way in which God is working out his loving plan, not just for us, but for the whole world. <laughs>